Hey, Namaskar, everybody. How are you today? Happy Labor Day weekend. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. And if you're already a subscriber and you watch my videos, it's Adventure Day. I think you're going to like this one today. I think, I think you're going to like it. I'm, I might even make you a believer. <laughs> Why do I say that? Well, I'm going to tell you. Um, I drove up to New York today, but not New York City. I'm about, I don't know, maybe an hour south of Buffalo. Um, we are going to take a walk through a little town where no one ever dies. Yep, you heard me right. I'm going to take you for a walk through a town where no one ever dies. And I'm going to explain that to you. I am in Lilydale. Lilydale is a small hamlet, which a hamlet is basically a small human settlement. So it's a hamlet for spiritualism. And it is the largest settlement area, whatever you, however you want to say it, for spiritualism in the world. That, you heard me right, in the world. Not in the state, not in the country, in the world. Um, Lilydale was established in 1897. Um, now, spiritualism was going on way before that. Um, but we're going to focus on when Lilydale was established. Um, it wasn't always called Lilydale. When it was established, it was known as Casadega Lake Free Association. Then in 1903, they changed the name to the City of Light. And in 1906, it was finally referred to as Lilydale. We are going to walk through the Lilydale Assembly. Um, there is a fee during on season. I'm here today. Today is the last day for on season. If you come here during off season, it's free to go in. Um, but I think the fee is like 15 bucks to come in or something like that. Um, now, what is spiritualism? It, and I'm not going into depth, but I guess the most basic thing I can say about it is you believe that no one dies nothing dies your energy is still here your spirit is still here um you don't have to be religious to believe in spiritualism you can be religious to believe in spiritualism you you can be christian you can be muslim you can be hindu you can be an atheist and still believe in spiritualism um like i said either you believe or you don't me, I'm a believer because I've experienced things and I've seen things to make me a believer. Um, so like I said, we're going to go through a walk through it. And that was pretty much the purpose of this video to show you Lilydale. Um, it's not going to be forcing anything onto anybody. It, it's a really cool spot. It's actually my first time here. Um, I've known people to come up here, though, and were telling me about it. Um, I, I think, I think we're going to like it. Um, not only here, let me show you this map first. There's, there's the map of, of Lilydale. So we're right here. That sounds familiar from another video of mine. We are right here. Yeah, I definitely said that in another video, but we're right here. And I told you, it's a, it's a small area. And, and this land was bought for the sole purpose so that medians, people that were gifted, could come to and talk about spiritualism. It, it was a meeting place for spiritualism, basically, is what it is. And, uh, and it's still going on. Um, I was going to say, not only is this place for spiritualism, but this was a big woman's movement area. Um, 
we're talking the likes of Susan B. Anthony. We are going to walk where Susan B. Anthony walked. This was actually one of the only places that she was allowed to speak. Um, so it, it, was, it was a safe space for women. Um, so, like I said, when you come here, there's a fee during on season. This would be the gate. And let me show you. Let me show you the prices here. Um, right there is is the gate prices. And they have they have hotels here. There's a campground, I believe, not far from here. Um, there's like bed and breakfast stuff here too. But we'll we'll walk through it. So you take that drive, and there's the entrance Lily Dale Assembly world's largest center for religion of spiritualism Wow and if I don't think some of the stuff's gonna be open today like the uh, museum and stuff like that because um, they have some of the old pictures uh, they're black and white but look it up online uh, I think you'll want to come here even if you if you're not a believer man this place is pretty cool there's a little little sign here about Lilydale. And I'm going to tell you, when I do these signs, as always, if you want to read it, pause it and, and read it. But I will say something. There it is right there. Susan B. Anthony. Only, only place that she was permitted to speak. How cool is that, right? That's, that's pretty cool. You talk about history, man. That's, that's awesome. And there was other, there's some other big names that, that I know and like that's that's been up here. Uh, Raymond Buckland, uh, been here before. There's a little little post office. Huh. There's oh okay, these are all the these are all the median mediums here that you could talk to. If you want to get a reading, a library box. How cool is this town, huh? So yeah, you can go down that way. It's one of the houses you can set. I like some of these signs at these houses. Um, it's, it's really colorful here. We'll say, yes, Aurora's house. How cool is that, huh? Let's go this way. Like I said, I've never been here before, so I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. We're just walking around, checking the place out. And I'll tell you a little bit of uh, facts that I know and some of my opinions. Lily Fountain. Look at the houses. <laughs> Those are neat. They're like these little, little cottages. Is that a copper? Yeah, there's like a little co uh, copper roof up there. Wow, you don't see that too often anymore either. Now, you're asking, man, can I get a house here? Nope. Well, you know what? Maybe, but probably not. Um, oh, check that out. Look at this. Let me walk over here so you can see. A little sculpture over there. No Rose Park. Um, like I was saying, you might be able to get a house here but probably not all the residents here and i think there's roughly around 200 uh there's like 200 residents here i think there's 40 or so um licensed mediums um but in order to move here you have to have a gift you have to be a medium uh like i said there's there's some people here that 
that read auras. There are some that do healing with, with crystals to pull toxins out of your body. And I think, I think most, if not everyone, uh, can speak to people that passed on. Uh, and, and that's what spiritualism is about. Um, so in order to get a house here, you have to kind of be voted in, I guess. And they do they do some vigorous testing uh, with you to find out if you're real. Because spiritualism, way back in the day, had a bad rap. It was more of a theatrical... Uh, fraudulent game I guess to play um, and I'm sure there's still fraud going on in it but I would venture to say most people are real um, I like that right there look at the cute houses man well wow, there's that copper roof up there I was talking about. and the clock I didn't notice the clock Wow there's the Lily nail office Wow. It's a nice house up there too. Wow, how awesome is this? There's music playing in the background. It's just soothing here. Um, and I'm just at the beginning. I haven't walked around yet. Um, wow. Yeah, now we were talking about fraud and spiritualism. Um, I know back in the day... Yeah, see how, how cool they all have signs here um, in front of their homes. There's a little sign about faith. Wow. Um, there were three sisters from New York known as the Fox Sisters. And uh, they, didn't, they didn't start spiritualism, um, but... They were they were known very well for it. Um, two of the sisters kind of convinced their third one that they could talk to spirits. There's the library. It's closed. Um, and finally, that third sister found out, and she took control over. I guess company um, and they did readings um, for people but like I said back then it was real theatrical it was like over the top it was almost like a sideshow you know it was people wanted to be crazy and that's that's not really what it's about um, I'm sure there still is people out there doing that kind of stuff um, here no way um well talking about the fox sisters the uh i'll check that out i just wanted to show you you know me and my rambling and then i get off off uh off subject because i see something neat so i want to show you um okay the fox sisters one of them after a while went public and t told the public that it, they were frauds um, and they just lost their reputation and they never ever got it back even after they tried to go back and say that they never said that uh, and not soon after that they they died um, but yeah that was kind of what spiritualism was back then it was just a sideshow kind of thing at a at a local fair is is you know what it seemed to be there's some really cool architecture stuff here wow look at that how cool is this wow everybody been writing on here I don't know how old this is but there's probably some history here with this. I like how these seats are.
That's really, really cool. It's pretty quiet here too, but I, I think it does get... Hey, hold on. I just wanted to show you something. There's a little ferry right there. Um, I think it does get quite busy here during the, the peak season. There's, uh, I guess you could say, church going on. That's the local the local hall. I don't want to be loud because they could probably hear me. Look how cool everything's decorated. Wow. Most of them have uh, names for the houses. <laughs> that is neat. And it's, yeah, it's a very walkable, it's like super walkable back here. So far I haven't ran into any problems. Everybody's been pretty, pretty kind and neat. Hey, if you watch, if you watch the HBO, Google on YouTube, Google uh, Lilydale and you'll, you'll see the HBO movie. He's on it. I just watched it the other day. It's prayer flags. Yeah, I guess people from all over the world come here. Hear the music in the back? Yeah, see they're having I don't I don't know what spiritualists have. Is it church? Is it just prayer? I I, I don't know. Yeah, these cottages are really cool. Come sit on my porch. It's birdhouses. Gotta love a house that has birdhouses because I have about a thousand. I got all kind of birds that come to my house. Oh, I see something real cool. Man, this is a really cool... Is that a birdhouse? Yeah, check that out. With the dragon. That's cool. Oh, nice. Wow. This is really, really uh, nice back here. There's a, looks like a little like snack shop over there. Little jar. Some really cool things. There's a lake way back there. I don't know if you could see it. There's a lake back in there. So yeah, there's a few things that I want to check out while I'm up here too. Um, they're supposed to have like a fairy garden. Um, there's a pet cemetery here, and it's it's the oldest known pet cemetery. So we're gonna find that. And there is a area where the yeah, see that was a snack shop over here called the Sunflower. Um. There is a area here where it's it's almost like a vortex. Wow. It's a vortex. It's the area where they used to congregate. Um, and that's where they would talk to the spirits. And it's a it's a stump. Um and I think it's cast over in cement now, um, but we're gonna find that. We're gonna find that. See, now there's a something for sale, but I don't think you could get that. Like I said, you have to be a member of the assembly and you have to be voted in um, and be gifted. Hotel. Another guest house. The Harmony House. Yes, we keep walking. Like I said, I've never been here. I know the lake's that way. 
foot. I came to show you Lilydale and walk through the streets. That's awesome. I love cats. One of my familiars is a cat. Yeah, see, people walk and, uh, you know, there's residents here, of course, but uh, a lot of visitors come here. Little ohm. Morning. Now we are in New York, so uh, they do ask you if you're vaccinated here, which I am. Um, and if you're inside, you have to wear uh, masks. Still, that's the law, I guess, in New York. See, you can tell where all the mediums live. They have their signs on uh, on their doors. Here might be an old see how they have these old old pictures i like i said i don't think uh check that out well i love old pictures like i said i don't think i don't think like the museum and stuff is open on sundays there's another medium willow white yeah if you're interested uh Look up some information for Lilydale. There's a lot on it. It's, it's pretty fascinating. I like how they have the prayer flags all over. I love it. Let's see how colorful everything is. See, it's its own com it's, it's its own community back here because they have their they have their own fire department. Um, they have a. Uh, post office so it's it's its own settlement back in here which is really cool Lilydale Fire Company there's a little squirrel over there you see it He's just chilling. He got the spirit. <laughs> oh, the Lilydale Museum. Maybe it is opening. I see an open sign. This used to be a schoolhouse. I think I found the ferry trail. There's another squirrel over there. Yep, there's the fairy trail. And there's the, there's the squirrel. Check them out. <laughs> oh, man. That's a nice sign. I like that. Healing area for pets. Totally pet friendly up here. Look at the stained glass windows. Little gazebo. Right there, all God's creatures welcome here. Oh, I think this is going to be pretty cool, huh? Yeah, they got the benches you can sit on. Now it was raining, so I might get wet from the from the trees. I like this right here. Check that out. The moon, the moon phases. <laughs> Look at 
This is cool. This is really cool. Wow. <laughs> Some people leave things here. They're all over the place. Oh yeah, this is this is awesome. This house is protected by fairy magic. Oh, check that. Check them out. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, fairy magic. That's a... You have to be good at that game. Because fairies are game players. Tricksters. more of those prayer flags yeah look at all these houses there's a cobwebs on that one Well, which way do we go? Which way? Do we go to the right? Or do we go under here? Because I'm, I think I'm going to kind of take this one. I usually go right, but this one looks pretty inviting, right? Glitter is litter. Please don't put it on our trail. Yeah, that stuff's hard to get rid of. Plus, not good for the animals either. Look, they're just all they're all over the place. <laughs> ah. Some cherubs. Wow, look, it just goes all the way back in there. That's crazy. Wow. Uh oh, we got a gnome. Look at that. That is insane. It's, uh, it, uh, been raining, so it's pretty slick back here and muddy. Look, it's just everywhere. Holy smokes. Look, there's a, like a big coin kind of thing right there. It's just everywhere. Wow. Okay. So yeah, if you like fairies, you can come back here, maybe bring a trinket. Leave the fairy something. And never tell a fairy thank you. You want to know why? Look that up. Yeah, I don't know how far back this all goes. Sit here and play chess. You want? I like that. That's pretty cool right there. That little. That's pretty neat. Let's go check this over here. 
Yeah, it'd probably be nice. It'd probably be real nice back here if it was, uh, if it was, you know, uh, dry. I was going to say warm. It's not real cold, but. Oh, I thought that was a mushroom. It's a duck. Rubber duck. Something a little different. Yeah, I guess you could have went this way too instead of the way I came. I'm probably going to have to go back to the car and grab my mask because I didn't bring it with me. See, I don't know what goes back in there. Wow, look at that. Look at that little house there. You know, it's been out there for quite some time. All these ones. Yeah, this is pretty different, huh? Like I said, if it, if it was dry back here, uh, it'd probably be real nice. Yeah, see, they're just hidden all over the place. Everything just out. Huh. Uh-oh. Look like a bear coming through here. That's a big dog. <laughs> See the dog back there? That's a big dog, huh? But I think all the animals here are pretty. You know what, though? Maybe it's a spirit of a dog. Who knows? Oh, look at that. This ain't where we came, or is it where we came in? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, cause we, okay, we did the circle. So that shoots in and just does a circle. That's pretty cool, huh? Little fairy trail. There's a gazebo. Looks like a good place to sit down if it's raining. You know, I just seen something. Look, they have, somebody has a thing. See that VW thing over there? That's awesome. I love those. Huh, I need some of those benches. I didn't know they made that. Go check out the lake, what do you think? Yeah, all these roads back in here too, they're like all one-way stuff. A lot of squirrels out today. Oh, they're just running all over the place. <laughs> well, let's see, can you get back in there? I, you know what, I don't know. You can get back over that, or if it's somebody's property. You know what? Let's go check this out first, and we'll come back up this way. Looks like there's a little uh, kind of gazebo overlooking the lake. Now, this must be Casadega Lake. Oh yeah, 
that's hey this is kind of nice out here this would be nice to grab yourself a sandwich come out and sit and just be by yourself somebody's boating out there I always like those little lily pads yeah that's pretty shallow too look how shallow that is I don't know if you can see the bottom wow Must have been gone fishing. Must have found the hot spot. Had to stop. See if we can get some. That was cool. Look, everything's colorful. Even the trash cans. It has some hearts on there. I think, yeah, that's the hotel up there, right? Yeah. Lakeside Rain Garden, that's what this is. Oh, I got the little bridge. They got a wildlife habitat. That's for all, probably for all the monarchs. And you know what? This place is pretty cool because when you see bat boxes, you know you're in a healthy spot. I wonder how many bats they got. I can't see up there. Can't see in between because they hang real tight in inside those flanges. This is a pretty sweet spot. Look at that, that must be a place where everybody sits. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's the, about the rain garden. Like I said, if I ever stop on those little signs, pause the video and read it because I don't stick around for those I, I I read them but I don't want to sit there for 20 minutes reading it while while you're waiting for me to do something yep, there you these squirrels are awesome so they, they all have numbers too so if you look on the map uh, things are numbered something else over here another little fountain a lot of places to sit here so like I said when it gets busy uh, which I've seen pictures I've seen other people's videos on Lilydale so I know that it does get busy um, I think it's pretty pretty spacey here that you wouldn't have a problem that's a nice tree oh that's awesome Love the sound of water too. Yeah, see a lot of benches for you to sit, sit and enjoy nature. Look at this tree. <laughs> Look at that one. Wow. That's like something out of Harry Potter. Check that out. What was that tree called in Harry Potter? Where Ron got his car stuck in it. That is awesome. We got to get a closer look at this. It's all knotted up. Wow, look at that. How insane cool is that? Wow. Dude. That is crazy. Wow, that is amazing. 
I've never seen a tree like that. Wow. Now if you go on, that's uh, the beach down that way, which I'm not really a beach guy, so we're not gonna go to the beach. Plus I don't plan on going swimming anyway. Another house for sale. So I've seen quite a, quite a few houses for sale back here. I, I think what a lot of people do here, like even the mediums and stuff, is they they come here, uh, but they do live elsewhere. So in the winter time, it does get rough in New York in the winter time. Good morning. It does get uh, it does get rough here in New York in the winter time. So they probably don't want to be around it. But. Then again, some people still, still stay here. I love these old photos. See? How cool is that, man? That's awesome. There's a gnome back in there. <laughs> I like gnomes at that house. Oh, there. Barry? Another church. Little bell. I'm always one for ringing the bell, especially at my temples. But I'm not gonna walk up there and ring it. They'll be like, "What the heck's this guy doing?" I like looking at the houses. Here's another. Here's another old uh, picture. Wow. Ellie McCabe. Yeah, that's the back side of those houses when I first came in. Uh, and the backs look just as cool as the front. Yeah, it's a pretty easy place to get around. I like that you can just walk it. See all the houses? They're just awesome back here. Let's see what's down this way. Another medium. I like how they have the signs out like that. I like the roof on that one. That's cool. It's neat. I want to check out some of these stores and stuff. But, um, I got to get my mask. Angel House. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's like storybook stuff. Lily Cafe restaurant. So see they got places to eat. There's another old picture. 1920. See? They just paint everything. It looks pretty cool. I'm not going to walk through that because it looks really uh, over the path and I don't want to get wet, but you could walk through there. I guess it wouldn't be too bad. I just don't want to get wet. I think right now 
I'm going to head to the auditorium because I think they moved the readings from the stump to the auditorium. Wishing well. Another old picture. I love these black and white pictures. I see another one. Here's the uh, auditorium. They have, a, they have a pipe organ back in there. Let's go check out this other picture they have over here. was taken in 1926 here's uh, inside but I really want to see this pipe organ look at this pipe organ this is great you don't see those too often wow I love that yeah, I couldn't even imagine playing that. <laughs> now you know how I told you they used to meet at the stump and talk to the spirits and that would be the meeting place um i guess being that it was raining today they're doing it inside the auditorium today so i'm gonna check it out i think we can video in here if not i'll see you when i'm done and if we can I'll show you a little bit of it. Hi everyone, how are you today? I want to welcome you to the 1 o'clock Inspiration Stump. My name is Reverend Dr. Jan Dreshman and I'm going to be your chairperson for today. And I am solo by myself, so I think we'll have a little party. That's what it's all about. Um, how many of you are here for the first time? Welcome, welcome indeed. And how many have been coming more than two, three, four years? Five, ten years, fifteen, and twenty years. Excellent. Anyone over twenty years? There we go. Welcome, indeed. Come on in, grab a seat. If you guys need a mask, there's uh, masks up in the front. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, I would have rung the bell, but found out that the bell rope was broken, so there was no bell to ring for the one o'clock. So our apologies. And I do want to welcome you here. Um, this is a religious service, so as such will ask that you don't drink or eat or smoke or I think the kids call it vaping. I'm not quite sure because I can't keep up anymore. My first example of a vapor I thought was a jump drive, which is a drive, which they said, Dr. D, we don't call it a jump drive anymore. So you kind of got to work in my world. Uh, this is the one o'clock inspiration stuff. It is a religious service and we want to thank you. We apologize that we can't be outside because the benches are, are wet and soaked. Yesterday was a beautiful day to be outside to do service. If you have time today at any point to take a walk out there for those that have come here for the first time and you want to see inspiration stuff, it is beautiful. It is one of our oldest old growth forests in the nation, and it's also certified. So basically what that means for us is we don't do any type of cutting down the trees or logging or harvesting them to put out to make any type of money. Uh, trees fall, that's where they stay. It, right before season, we had some trees that came down along the path which had to be removed because it was in harm's way. So if you have a chance to go see that, that would be a real treat. 
just a little bit about Lily Dell. We are uh, the uh, largest spiritualist camp in the nation and the largest center for the study of spiritualism. Spiritualism is a religion, just as it would be for someone who might be Catholic or Protestant, Buddhist or Hindu. And we're very proud of that. We've been around since the 1800s. There aren't many spiritualist camps now left. I don't know what people know. Uh, I like to just tell a little bit of, of the history about the um, spiritual antebellum era, and that was around the Civil War era. And with the Civil War, as you may or may not know, many people lost someone in their lives, whether it was a mother, a father, a sister, brother, cousin, aunt, uncle, relative, friend, neighbor, even a pet. There's masks right over there if you want to grab one. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, welcome. There's masks over there if you want to grab one. Thank you. So with that said, with the antebellum era, what people were worried about was that their loved ones, many of them didn't get to come home. And that was the part that people wanted to make sure that their loved ones were okay. So then you had people, if I may say, like us, who demonstrated the continuity of heaven and earth where loved ones meet. So think about that, having a war on our soil, and we don't know if our loved ones are fine. So if you want to know more about the history of spiritualism and the antebellum era, that's a beautiful example to help you understand what it's all about. Uh, today, <clears throat> excuse me, there'll be a 2.30 church service here. It's a little bit more formal. You're welcome to come to. There should be a 4 o'clock all message service here, also inside the auditorium. And then the 5.30 will be the last service that we do for this summer camp season. And we'll be ending our season today. I do know that I believe uh, Ron Saronsky is doing a tour of Lilydale, which I had thought was supposed to happen at 3.30. You may want to check the program book to make sure. If anyone wants to know anything about the historical perspective of Lilydale, that is one, one event I would tell you to go ahead and do. Ron is wonderful with the historical context of our grounds. I believe the museum should be open. And I believe the healing temple was done online today. Uh, we have beautiful eateries here. We have the Lily, which is our cafeteria, which is reopened under us, Lily Dell Assembly, uh, which is beautiful. I'll tell you what, I had a, uh, a steak, I've had salmon, I've had chicken from there, and it does not disappoint. If you want something else, um, we have the pagoda, which is beautiful. They have burgers, they have wraps, they have salads. Uh, Ms. Brenda also has what I think is now her signature lavender iced tea. So if you've never had lavender iced tea, you might want to take a little peek down there. So that kind of gives you the, the game and gamut of what will be going on. If it's your first time, everything is walkable. We're a very small community. We also have a beach. For some reason, if you need to get up during this service and use the restroom where you need to leave, what I'll do is ask you to use the back door. Restrooms are right down the little path at the, at the little red building. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to cover before I jump in. Uh, no cell phones. We understand that you might have emergencies or waiting for someone. If you could just put it on silent, and if you need to peek at it, you can. Obviously, I'm without a watch today, so I will probably use that as a timekeeper. You might see me looking at this as a timekeeper. Other than that, I think I've covered all the household, I call them household goodies. I just want to get them out of the way so I can start my work. I may drop this microphone at some point, just so that you know that my mouth is big enough in seventh grade. My Spanish teacher, Senor de Paulo, called me Boca Grande. And I'm like, yay, what does that mean? He's like, big mouth. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I can live with that. So he's a very special man in my life. Um, other than that, I think we're good to go. We, we do ask that you wear the mask, the reason why, CDC guidelines so that we follow with that. So any of the indoor buildings that you go into, you will have to mask. The pagoda is an outdoor eatery, so of course when you're eating, you're not going to mask. Uh, going into the cafeteria, I would leave that option up to you. Any questions before we start? Because I'm ready to jump in. Jeff, I might call you up to help me at some point. Don't make eye contact. All right, if I may. Loving, gracious God, infinite spirit, divine one, giver of life, thank you for gathering us here today in this special place. Please help us to have our hearts open so that we can receive. Please help us to keep our eyes and our ears where they need to be. So any of the messages that we can get to be uplifting and a place of love and a place of hope. In the name of the power of love, amen. All right, I think we're ready to get started. So 
um, if I may take one minute. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come to the, uh, the woman sitting right here at the end. You're putting some lip stuff on. Your name, please? Ariel. Ariel? Yeah. Thank you. May I come to you, please? Sure. And are you with anyone? Yeah, me too. Uh, can these two just give me your names? Scott. Alicia. Alicia, have you guys been here before? Yeah. Okay, so first time, welcome to Lily Dell. We'll tell them to buckle up. You might have to help me find that. And Ariel, can you say your name one more time, please? Thank you, dear. As I step in with you, I have a pet that comes in from heaven and spirit. This pet is pretty amazing. It just jumps right in and starts saying, here I am. I want to make sure that all of you understand when I do my work, soul and spirit comes out like this. We cross happy, joyous, and free, no sickness or illness. When I'm working with kids, I tell them I'm running into heaven. All the frozen birthday cake, lasagna, and out of the tacos, many of the pizza. And I say that so that you know it's a happy place in heaven. This pup comes right in and sits right in front of you. As this pup comes in, shows beautiful couch colors of yellows and reds. So let's talk about this. Um, actually, it might have had some type of illness or sickness. Do you understand? A dog in heaven? Not yet. Okay, do you have a dog in heaven, even from the past? Okay, then it's going to go somewhere here. So I can only give you one second. Do either of you have a dog in heaven? Okay, I'm going to give it because I'd like to do my work direct and then we'll come back. So if the dog comes through, you can take the message. Great, if not, that's okay too. Shows yellows and reds. Yellows are all about feelings and emotion. When we look at that, it lets me know that you feel deeply. Love much, hurt much. Reds are all about love and passion, not the Valentine stuff. This is the stuff in relation to spirituality, so spirituality may be changing. As I also touch in with you, I will only have a cancer-related illness to understand. Anyone here understand? Thank you. So as the woman comes through, she makes a star, and as she makes the star, perhaps the dog belongs to her, I don't know, but it comes right here. And what she shows is that recently there's been a lot of emotional stuff going on, do you understand? And as we look at this, it's as if my eyes hurt from crying so much. There's been a lot of feelings and a lot of emotion. And as she comes through, she says, there was no way that they could have fixed me. They had tried. She said, we had tried different types of treatment modalities. It would not have worked. And then she stops and she says, I got to decide when I was going to go home. She also didn't get to say goodbye to everyone. But what is interesting is that you may have a piece of her writing or a card or something, you understand? Because she says, you know me by my writing, and this is a beautiful woman. And she says, you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. We're changing in different ways, both physically and spiritually, you understand. And as she also touches in, there may be something, um, I don't know if we've looked for new clothing recently, or we wanted to go shopping, do you understand? And she says, well, I was right there looking at all the new stuff, too. She says, go ahead, and let's buy it. Why wouldn't we? You know, when we do something that's physical like that, getting new clothing, it gives us a little push-up. And in some ways, she's also giving you the push-up. It's interesting because she also says the name Diane or Diana. Diane or Diana. Look in living. This may be tied into the work that you do. In some way, um, oh, I give it how I get it. In some way, you may meet someone with the name Diane or Diana. Just know that whatever it is that you do, you give kindness to. She wants to put more sparkle into your life and give you more fun because she says it's been too much recently. And as she shows this, she clears this away, which is beautiful. So in your present, as she shows this, she shows that your road gets easier and that she's always walked with you. We might also have had something with flip-flops that happened recently or a pair of shoes. Do you understand? And she says, I'm right here with you. I'm right here. And she has a good sense of humor. I like this. And then she says, cookie, cookie, cookie. You with me? All right, thank you. Please know that she is very well. She is very healthy. She also shows four in the family. So there may be four kids in the family or four members of the family. Do you understand? She touches, just hold on to this. We have to look at family and family as a heart. That's how I look at whenever things come through. Just know that she acknowledges all four and she brings love and light. And I'll leave that with you. Thank you, my friend. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you all today. So my name is Elizabeth, and I'm from Pittsburgh. Is anyone else here from Pittsburgh? Yay! Awesome. So I'm a visiting medium 
but I usually work with people one on one. So I assume I'm working well. This is only the third time I've been up here on this type of platform. So I just ask for your patience today. And I do have a loved one here. I actually believe I'm with you, May. Have you had a message and can I come to you? Okay. So I have a woman in spirit. I feel like she may be a grandmother to you. I feel like a grandmother from possibly on mom's side of the house because I'm getting her on a specific side of you, which me, which tells me which kind of side of the family she's on. She comes, to, she actually came to me while I was walking up here. I just didn't know who she belonged to. So she wants to see you and give you a message really badly today. And I told her, I said, all right, you have to show me who you belong to in this room today. And my eyes went right to you, so I know that's where I gotta go. So she comes to me for you with so much love and a very important message. She was here on the earth plane. I don't know if you had a relationship with her or not. And if you didn't, that's okay. A lot of times our loved ones in spirit who weren't even, who we didn't even know while we were alive can be sometimes some of the people that are around us the most and help us the most, which is really cool. But your grandmother is with me. She very much was, I feel so powerful with her. Like when she's with me, I feel super confident. I feel really powerful. I feel like she didn't take any, she wants me to, she says, I didn't take shit from anybody. And I want to say, I wouldn't normally talk like that. So that's her coming through. But she didn't take crap from anybody. She very much spoke her truth. She didn't, um, she's just a very strong, empowering kind of personality. Somebody I would have liked to have known could have used in my own personal life. But she comes to you because she says that you are just like her. But she says that, you're not necessarily always speaking your truth, but you have it inside and you have a gift. I don't know if you know that you have a gift first. It may be, it may not necessarily be public. You have a gift with words, whether it's speaking, whether it's writing, whether it's singing, I don't know what it is, but she wants me to tell you that you are to use this gift and she is here to help you let it evolve, let it come out, let it shine. So I don't know if any of this means anything yeah. to you, but she is with you super strong. I can feel her all around you on your right side right now. So just know she is with you. When you are ready to take steps, she takes them with you. And when you're ready to evolve this gift, girl, let me tell you, I can like I literally can see like your vision being forecast in front of me. And girl, you came here to to make a big difference. And your words are gonna resonate deeply with people. And you're gonna, you came here to help a lot of people. I can like literally, your grandmother's like showing me the ripple effect of the magnitude of the of what you're going to do. And it's gonna help people all over the world. You don't even, you might not even think you have that ability right now. You might feel like, how could I ever bring this to come out? You know, how can we? And we all feel like that, right? You know, like who am I to do X, Y, or Z? But who are you not to, girl? That's what your grandma says. Who are you not to? So whatever you've got coming, I know it's beautiful things, and call on her because she's with you always, and she's going to help you evolve this. Thank you so Thank much you for so letting me bring this message to you today. You're welcome. So I actually have another woman with me here. I have to find where she goes. I actually think I might be with you way in the back. You're going like this, sitting in the chair. <laughs> So 
she, I get the sense that she was in a relationship that was not a positive one or a healthy one. So her significant other was a part of the reason that she tended to be a very quiet and timid individual. So I don't know if that helps bring her through for you or who this person is to you. Um, she comes to me for you and she feels like So she has a message for you that's really dealing with friendship. So is the woman close to you? Is this your friend that you're with? Sister. Your sister? Okay. Yeah. I had a feeling you were all connected. She was like drawing this big rainbow over you that was going over this direction. I thought, I feel like she's trying to pull all these ladies in, so I need to know if you're all connected. So this woman I have a feeling somehow knows all of you. This very much may be a family member, but I think I'm going back far in time. Like, I'm talking great greats of that, of that earth plane. Like I said, it might be a great great aunt, because I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling a motherly type figure here. But she's talking, wants me to talk to you about the importance of, of connection and friendship. So I don't know if you are somebody who tends to be, she's telling me you're somebody who you tend to be, kind of the, I want to say the right leader, that's what she's telling me, that you tend to be the person that when there's an event, whether it's for family or friends, that you are the one that brings everybody in, that you are the one that she, that pulls everybody in, that you are really this, this, that you're really that piece in the family that, and the friendship rings, that everyone just gravitates to you, she tells me. You're like a, there's something about you that really, you keep people interconnected. She tells me this is a gift you have. So I have a sense, I don't know if what you do professionally is, in, is interrelated to connecting with people, but she tells me that you very much have a gift for connecting with others. So I don't know if you professionally do anything in service to others, but if you, I was gonna say, if you don't, you should think about it because I can see, she's showing me like pink, pink um, energy coming out of your heart, which shows me very, and we can see, I see sometimes green or pink around the heart, but when I see pink, it's it's not as often, and that shows me just that you like radiate unconditional love. So I have a feeling, I see these ladies nodding and stuff, so I have a feeling that, that this, that you have some very powerful gifts, but she tells me that there's still something coming for you. So whatever it is that you do that you connect with others, she wants me to give you a nudge. She tells me had she been able to be with you on the earth plane, she would have told she would have given you a swift kick to take it one step further. So I don't know if you're thinking about, you know, taking another step in your career, if you're thinking about integrating something new, if um, she's also telling me you're highly intuitive. So I don't know if, you, if you're, you're here in Lilydale, obviously, so I don't know if you thought about developing yourself intuitively, but know that you certainly have that ability to manifest it. But I very much see you as just a, ma a master connector, is what she's telling me in this lifetime. So you have come to really connect people. People feel drawn to you as a gift. I know you have the ability to help others on a very deep level. She shows me deep at a soul level. She tells me that you don't, uh, <laughs> She's telling me you don't give yourself very much credit often. And that's one of the reasons she wanted you to have this message. She tells me that you've already helped and changed so many people's lives, but she doesn't think you realize that. So you need to- I'm an ICU nurse. Oh my God, you're an ICU nurse? Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, bless you. Well, no wonder, yes, you change people's lives all of the time. And since you're an ICU nurse, um, now she's telling me that this is where the connection is for you. You also have the ability, she's telling me, to help people transition. So I don't know, because you're my ICU nurse, I don't know if you've ever been involved with end-of-life care. Yeah. I actually am a doctor in my too, so I love that we share that connection personally. So bless your heart. Um, but she tells me you also, if you have not yet figured it out, you have the gift to help people transition, which might sound like a morbid thing, but it's actually, it's actually a blessing. End of life care um, is where we tend to not pay enough attention in the lifespan when it comes to health and wellness. And you have a gift for helping people transition. She tells me you have a gift 
for helping to communicate with people who are at that stage and phase of their lives to help them make that transition in a peaceful, loving way. Because so many people get to that place on their journey in life and they're afraid, right? I mean, so many of us, that's why we're here. We, we want to know what happens next, you know? And um, you have the ability to help people take that step from one from one with from one earth from the earth plane into spirit. So please know that if you want to evolve those gifts, I they're just all right there. She's just like showing me presents. Like she just <laughs> You have so many gifts. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all the lives you touch and are going to continue touching. It's bringing tears to my eyes because she's showing me this um I see oh my gosh. Dessert over. I'm seeing like a line of people who are here waiting to thank you that you have helped. So it's very overwhelming. Please know you are just such a powerful source of love in this in this on this earth plane, and we need you badly right now. So thank you for all that you do. Know that you have this loved one in spirit who walks this journey with you and wants you to remember how much you make a difference every single day. I literally can see all those people. So know that you have helped, whether you realize there are not many spirits transition, who are all on the other side. I see them all in with prayer hands, reaching out to say thank you. So I'm gonna leave all of that with you. Thank you for allowing me to serve you today. And it's with all the honor in the world that I get to do so. And I just wanna say to all of you today that, um, if you didn't jump in a message while you're here, know that every single one of you in this room right now is surrounded with so much love that I can't even hear it right now. And you're never ever ever left. So thank you all so very much for letting me serve. Thank you, Betty Scott. I'm Elizabeth Rogers, uh, visiting medium from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I believe she shares residency in Lakewood, Ohio. Elizabeth, thank you for serving. The beautiful part about doing this work and seeing other uh, mediums uh, do their work, and we have three types. We have registered mediums, visiting mediums, and then uh, those that uh, may be student mediums, is watching other people's work. And we're not here for anyone's entertainment. Truly, we are not. As you can tell, we really come from the heart, soul, and spirit. And again, truly, all we do is demonstrate the continuity of heaven and earth and where those two worlds meet and where your loved ones meet so that we know that they always, always walk with us. If you don't take anything else here from today, please know that your loved ones walk with you always, no matter what, that they are only a breath away, a whisper away, and they know everything that there is. So be careful what you guys do out there. And we'll say that with love and light. Thank you. If I may, loving, gracious God, infinite spirit, divine light, creator, mother, father, God, Thank you again for gathering all of us together. Whoever would have thought we would be sitting here last year at this time, and yet we touch and trust the divine grace of God's spirit, the divine. Help us to continue to walk in the way that we need to and trust in everything that there is with the process. And we ask that in the name and the power of love for us also to continue kindness in the best way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Oh, what'd you think? Um, you know, when I, I will say when I first got in here, my hands were, were really numb. Um, and I'm an energy, energy feeler. I mean, I can walk past trees, rocks, uh, you know, and, and, I, and I get the energy feeling. Um, and it's funny with the mediums because they, they all have that different personality. And I've only, I only seen, what, three here? But I've seen others work. Uh, yeah, so I'll say it again. Either you believe or you don't. You know, that's, that's your call. Yeah, let's go walk around some more. All right. I found the pet cemetery and the stump. But we got to walk to it.
There's all the uh, there's all the mediums. Actually, the one that I would have loved to talk to. Um, she died a while ago. I, I forget the name, but I, I I seen her working, and I was like, oh wow, her her just aura around her was really awesome. But uh, Leyland Woods. Like I said, when I get to these, just, you know, pause it, read it. Please do not enter the woods during stormy weather. Um, I could see why they probably say that because there's some tall trees. And uh, getting knocked by one of these would be insane. The white pine stump. Here is um, the Pet Cemetery, I believe. Yes. Pet Cemetery. And they always, I see they always have donation uh, boxes for each point of interest. Yeah, here's the uh, cemetery. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. So I'll take it a little walk. Wow, there's a lot of uh, stones and stuff here. Yeah, this is this is the oldest known pet cemetery. And some people say that they see, uh, you know, the spirit apparitions of of. Uh, animals here. There's all the animals. Oh, dash hound back there. Is that? Oh, I thought that was a mushroom there for a minute too. That's a dog. Hmm. Look at the. Uh, I hope I'm not stepping on anything, but I don't. Look at that. I never seen. Uh, I never seen one like that. That's a. There's an. There's another one with the with the little purse. Wow. That's the first time I've seen that. Wow, you know what? That reminds me of my grandma. Because she had these two cats uh, that look like that. Uh, it, it, not real ones, but actual, actual statues like that uh, on each side of the console TV. That's right, console TV. Yeah, this is kind of like the fairy garden. This is all, goes all over. Spoiled rotten pooch. <laughs> yes, those are gunshots in the background. If it's picking it up. More cherubs. Maybe the pictures of their animals. Oh, check this out. A little web there. Huh. Yeah, look, see, it goes all over here. Cat collar. Look at the moss that grew on it. Ah, oh, somebody has fish so 
there's there's a rabbit over there so maybe there's a rat there's rabbits buried here there's probably fish buried here dogs cats i believe horses too i i want to say that's what i was going to say when i entered here i i think one of the first i think one of the first animals that were buried here was a horse um i'm gonna have to look that up but i i was reading and and that's what started the whole whole thing but there's another old picture so what'd you all think of uh the reading um that was in the auditorium different right but uh so the video is probably a little longer than what i initially planned but i kind of want to show you what happens uh in spiritualism and, and how those meetings worked and that's what they used to do uh back in the day that that's what this whole place was bought for and uh they made a community for it oh, that's neat it's a little solar i bet you that looks neat at night yeah i guess uh i always told you i did a couple cemetery videos before and you know cemeteries were always uh when they were building cemeteries or when they were making cemeteries in the past they were more or less parks and that's kind of what this is with the benches and the tables and stuff Let's see what this is here I don't want to step in there. Garden. Oh, guardian angel of pets. Oh, this is kind of. It's actually kind of scary looking. There's a dog and a cat over there. There's all over. See, they leave Make-A-Wish Fish Pond. All right. I wonder how many animals are actually um, buried in here. I see something cool, which I gotta... Again, I hope I'm not stepping on anything. There's a mushroom. I like mushrooms. There's another little one right there. Here's a little plaque of... People probably put their pictures of their animals in there. One thing I will say, it's, it's pretty quiet back here. Wow. Okay, and that was the pet cemetery. Some of these are old, though. Some of these stones. Okay. Yeah, I wish it was dry back in here. Everything's kind of muddy because of the rain. But I was going to tell you that they don't do anything in this forest. You know, like cut trees or anything, but... I took a video inside the auditorium, so uh, the medium was talking about it, so you would have already heard that. That's a big bird bath. I need that for my yard. Okay, and I don't know how far back this is, but we're going to continue walking down this path. And we should come 
to Inspiration Stump, which what we did in the auditorium would have been held over here at the stump that we're going to go see. Um, and that was, that's what this place was all about. Where we're going is where they would have met and gathered together and talked to ones that passed. So, uh, Let's keep walking and see where this takes us. We're close. I believe I see it. But we always got to stop for the signs. Look, tons of points of interest. Up there is going to be the stump. Yeah, we might as well get to this one. Another little picture. Yeah, see, uh, there would have been a speaker. This is the stump I believe he's on right in here. Um, and these people, they're all here waiting to get a message from someone that passed. See? Uh, it must get really bad out here because there's, there's all these signs about like stormy weather. I see the stump. I actually thought this was in a... Uh, I thought they had this... Enclosed. It's because it's not the real stump anymore. Ah, okay. The real one was enclosed. There's inspiration stump. So, whoever was the uh, chairperson for that day would get up here on the stump, and there would be all the people fill. Now, of course, back in the day, these weren't here. They would be standing here, and. Uh, get messages so this is just a cast this is a cement cast of the real one and this was actually a tree that stood here that was struck by lightning and this area is like a portal so that's and this is this is where we would have been today if we weren't in the auditorium but they didn't want to come out because it was raining and it was nasty out. But yep. The infamous stump. Inspiration stump. Hi. Good, how are you? Okay. That was neat. Okay, I guess we're going to walk back and uh, everything should be open today. Um, I guess probably because it's the last day here. So we're going to go check out the museum and maybe go into a couple stores, check them out. So I'm going to walk back before I do that, check this tree out. This was that red maple tree. I didn't see that. Check, check it out the way it's rotted in there that's cool okay well i showed you that so i'm going to continue walking back and when i get back into town you know probably take me a half hour because i'm going to enjoy a walk here um we'll go check those out all right okay i didn't finish the path yet but i was walking and i had to show you guys this fungi mushroom Look at that. <laughs> is that awesome? Check that out. Wow. How cool is that? Okay, if I come across anything uh, like that again, obviously I'm going to stop and show you. But, uh, okay, let me get on my way. Yeah, I, I, 
I came across something cool again. Um, this is something Harold Balder would be uh, be happy to see. But look at this. It's a beech tree that was struck by lightning. I had to stop and, and show you guys that too. Look at that. You can see the char on it. See, I love hikes. You never know what you're going to see. Never know what you're going to find. But I think we may be coming up on the end of the trail. I want to check out that museum. Like I said, I like the old... Uh, yeah, there you go. That's a good, that's a good note right there. Nice. I really want to check out the um, museum because I like the black and white. And there's the end. I like the black and white photos, so I'm sure there's going to be a bunch in there. But uh, it's probably going to take a little while to get there because now I'm on the far end of uptown. <laughs> Okay, yeah, told you we had to deal with these masks again. Uh, now, if I was in Ohio, I wouldn't have to, but we're in New York, so they have they have their different uh, guidelines. But uh, here's the first store we're gonna go into. Crystal Cove. I guess if you're vaccinated, you can ditch the mask. Oh man, there's the or they got oracle decks here. They got the mini samples. Some sage. I just ran out of some of this. Your altar. Mm. Namaste. Kind of like the beginning of mine. Namaskar, though. Ah, Shiva. Incense. That's cool. Always gotta love Mag Champa. My favorite incense ever is right there. Um, I am gonna get myself some of this. I am getting some of this. And I may get some of this because, yeah, this is my favorite smell. Pretty neat stuff in here. Uh, very uh, incense. Incense. Yeah, that's cool. Or like some of these back here in this I see something that uh, might get me in trouble if I uh, want to buy it. <laughs> that. I need that. I need that to go into my crystal collection. Oh, look at that. Look at this piece of fluorite. Wow. Okay. They have some really cool stuff in here. It's the Buddha. Canopia. Ah, uh, look at that. It's, it's, I like that Canopia. Look at this. This is cool. And I it to be. I Oh man, those are awesome. Look at that. Wow. But then you also That's neat too. I like that. Okay. 
That is awesome. They have a bunch of really neat stuff in here, right? I'll put this back with your earrings, okay? And wait, we're still looking Oh, they do have more crystals. Okay. Awesome. Wow. Blue calcite. Awesome. Some more in there. Well, that was really cool. Oh, here's some more uh, crystals over here. Okay, that was the first. Uh, that was the first door. That was pretty neat. Well, that was a pretty cool store. They actually even had crystal grids in there. A little pricey, but look where you're at. Um, I actually got myself a couple things here. But I'm uh, coming out. I was checking this house out, and I really dig it. Check this out. Look at this. Look at the ceiling with the fans. That is awesome. 150,000. Three white. Look at that. Wow. That's, that's awesome. They do have some, not all of them, but they do have some really cool houses. Um, yeah, look, that even, that one we were just looking at it, that's still lit over there too, uh, with the with the stone. <clears throat> Pretty neat. Okay, I think we may be hitting up the museum next. Um, Cause earlier we did walk past this hotel and see look how nice it is compared to like when i first started the video um so yeah, it turned out to be a really nice day and i tell you what man i would love to climb these steps but i don't know if you get in trouble too look at these steps wow i think that might be somebody's residence up there but uh so we won't go all the way to the top but when i see steps i gotta climb them um to remind myself that i'm afraid of heights like as in the fire tower videos i make now i wouldn't be afraid of that but i think that's somebody's residence up there so i don't want to climb it that squirrel right there has a bunch of nuts in his mouth <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, check him out. Look at him. He has like a, this big mouthful. That's that's funny. But uh, here we are at the museum, the Lilydale Museum, and uh, that was a schoolhouse originally. I think we have. To but I have mine on. The museum, formerly an old schoolhouse. I'm glad they're open. There's all the pictures I like right there. I love those pictures. There's for the. I told you this was a big. Uh, this was a big place for women's rights. Hello. Hello. Oh, I want to check all the 
Check out all the brochures. Even if you're vaccinated, you're taking a chance, a big chance. This Delta variant is hitting a lot of people. I know, we just forgot them in the car as well. Yeah, we got like 100, uh, 50 to 100 people a day are, are coming down with it. We just got three of our employees yesterday got hit. Really? Yeah, that's why they didn't have the uh, gate up. Okay, and that was the museum. Here's another little gazebo. Check this out. Let's go over and take a look at it. Oh, there's a, uh, hold on, let's go check this out. Oh, and, and good thing we came here because there is another photo. Ah, there's a well. Of course, this doesn't work. Well, it might work, but we can't get it to work. Okay. Oh, that's a nice looking house over there, too. Yeah, you know what, man? I think this is a really neat place um, to come and check out. Even if you don't believe in spiritualism. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I got some vibrations here and there. Um, but I think we're going to keep walking a little bit more and see what else we have here ah memorial well, I guess I can get up there so what the fox fox family okay this was a memorial to a house that used to be here a cottage Nice little sitting area place here. So pretty much to me, this this is, uh, you know, for outsiders to come here, I think it's just a place to, to relax and, and um, dwell on yourself, uh, your inner self, I guess. Um, I'm glad I came in, in to check it out another oh this this must go down to the beach here's another point of interest I wanted to see 
the forest temple i think they have like service kind of prayer things here right there yeah see there's all them that that building wasn't in this picture anywhere oh, okay yep right there so it was a meeting it was a meeting place for them to talk about spiritualism we'll take a walk up and uh check it out nope oh, somebody left the mask shame on them It's, it's, it's a pretty cool place. It's a pretty cool place. But if you're open, you might get more out of it. And, and I'm an open person. I'm a very open person. But I'm also cautious and, and uh, try to see past things too. But I know that spiritualism is, is real. Um, but, you know, instinct is always trying to catch somebody in a lie or something. Um, but it's been here for a long time. So just, just think way, way back in the 1800s, this was pretty much just like a, a camp, um, just a, a a meeting space so all these houses weren't here at the time uh, you know the stores weren't here the restaurants weren't here it was basically just a camp so you could see them doing their seances which which is a french word for session um so there's a little bit of uh that useless information that you get from my videos um in their wrappings which did I tell you what wrappings were with with uh, with the Fox sisters? That's what that's what they used to convince the, si the their third sister uh, that they could speak to spirits. Wrapping is basically uh, the medium. Are there any spirits here? Knock three times, and you know, knock knock knock. That's wrapping. And then. Uh, yeah, when I was in that, when I was in the um, museum, it seemed like he didn't want me to uh, <laughs> film in there, so that's why I put it down. That's a pretty neat house. I like, I like that. It's like a cabin. Um, but I was talking about those cones that they had, and we we talked earlier about the the fraud of spiritualism, and they would use those cones and uh this the spirits would talk through those and uh i guess and we were talking about theatrics they would have ectoplasma coming out of the medium and like kind of wrap around the cone and so it was real over the top but that was all that that was in that fraud era and again i i'm sure there still is but everything has energy. Everywhere is energy. So, of course, th there's something. You know, there's something real. It has to be. And I think everybody would like the thought to talk to one of their loved ones, right? I think we could all agree on that. Or agree to disagree. I see kitties up ahead. I love cats. I, there's a bunch of cats just roam the street here. It's pretty neat. Okay, mediums again. Kitty, kitty. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of cats. They're just hanging out, chilling. 
Hey kitty. Hi. Hey kitty. Hi. Hi. Hi kitty. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have any. You want to go hunting for mice. Yeah. I, I know. Your friends are down there. Look, he's just walking. He's leaving. He's leaving you. Nice kitty. Okay, I just wanted to come and say hi. I seen you from down the road, okay? Okay, I know. We'll see you later. Bye. I think he wanted me to go hunting for mice with him. I think that's what he was saying. Okay, I think there was another store around the corner, so we'll go check that out. <laughs> Look at the squirrel up there. Check him out. Look at <laughs> That was cool. Did you... <laughs> That's cool. Those are the kind of things I like to see. When the animals are just hanging out doing their thing. That was awesome. Well, there's the other store. Bargain shop. I don't know what's in it. But we'll go check it out. And, of course, there's more pictures. Let's check out the pictures. Nope. Hey, Pepsi. Hey, kitty. Kitty. I like cats. I told you I have a cat as a familiar. Yep, they don't think not about it. They just sit here and chill. Okay. Unikite. Unikite. I have a huh. I have a unikite bracelet at home which I wear all the time. Today I got my moo kite jasper. Elephants. The typical stuff. Books, incense, books, incense, and crystals you're bound to find, and there's more of that. That's that's what I bought at my other uh, the other store I went into. Champa. Ah, we got camels.
balancing in the pamphlet that we're dealing with meditation. There were some cool things in there that I would have got, but uh, all your stores here are typical. You're going to find incense, candles, crystals. Looks like Ganesh you're going to find a lot of. Everywhere I go, they have Ganapie. Um, I like, look at the color of the house. That's a pretty neat color of the house. Angie Apt. I was, I was reading about her yesterday. Um, but the prices are pretty steep on a lot of the stuff. Um, but if you're coming here, you know, obviously it's it's tourism, so um, that's why the prices are probably high. The Webb Strand Cottage, number seven. One of the earliest cottage built in Lilydale, 1883. I like it. Yeah, a lot of historic houses um, here. And uh, if you if you look if you look at some of the mediums. Uh, actually, I'll show you up here when I get up there. Look, th here's another alien. <laughs> with the peace sign. I always like that too, those purple doors. With, I, I like that. See, uh, it's, it's the last, it's the last day of the season. And a lot of people are closed or filled. I told you, either some of these mediums leave. Um, and being with COVID, a lot of them are, are just doing like Zoom. Oh, we're by that house. That's where we came out of. That's cool. Um, a lot of them are doing Zoom and phone calls. I like the way that... That's a nice vibe right there. I like that vibe. Yeah, check, see that? That's pretty wicked. I like that. I don't know if I could move here, even if I was a um, licensed medium. I mean, obviously, they probably make a lot of money. But uh, I don't know if I'd want to live here or not. I don't know. I think everyone here has a golf cart, too. I think that's the mode of transportation. Parking for Belgian only. I think we're coming close to the end of our uh, adventure, to be honest with you. I pretty much seen everything that I plan to see. Um, we even went to one of the readings um, so yeah. At Denny's. <laughs> uh, yep, we have reached the end of our adventure. Not a bad day, right? Uh... Like I said, the video is a little bit longer than I planned. I wasn't going to sit in on the uh, the meeting and the reading. But since I was able to video in there, um, I did for you guys so you could see what it was like in there. Um, which I think it goes with the purpose of the video. Well, I definitely want to thank you for coming and joining me on this adventure today. I hope you liked it. 
Um, are you a believer? Keep it to yourself. I don't know. Um, there's stuff that I believe in. There's stuff that was like, eh, I don't know. Um, but teach their own. I'll leave it up to you. I just kind of wanted to show you the place. So you can see uh, what Lilydale is all about because it's, it's well known. Um, I think that's my favorite spot right there. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite spot. Well, until we meet up again, probably next week, I would say. I'm going camping, so I'm sure I'll find something for us to do. Um, it's probably going to be in the forest somewhere. I think, I think. But again, thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already. I know I know a lot of you watch the videos, but don't you don't subscribe. Um, subscribe for anybody you watch. It, it helps. It helps the channel out. Um, until we meet again. Better than Lange.